Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Xbox video. Title Update 12 is finally here, and I'm sure like me, you can't wait to go and play it. But what I want to do is tell you about all of the new additions as quickly as possible. And to ensure that I do it as fast as I can, over here I have added a sense of danger. There is a villager which is trapped inside of a cage. And on the other side of the room I have added a death clock. When I press this button it will set up some redstone which will go under the ground and be delayed but eventually make its way to this tower. It will go up the tower to a dispenser which will dispense lava. The lava will go down this trail and eventually make its way into the cage and burn the villager and I don't want that to happen because I've become rather attached to this villager. So over here I've added a cancel timer. When I press that button it will stop the lava but I can only press that button once I've told you about every single new addition that they have added inside of this update. So let's get started. The first thing that they have added is jungle biomes which look like this and in them you get jungle trees and growing on jungle trees you get these. If you break them you get cocoa beans from them which is really awesome uh, because previously the only way to get cocoa beans was from inside of dungeons and if you want to grow your own jungle trees you can do so with jungle saplings to get jungle wood blocks, jungle wooden planks, jungle half slabs, jungle stairs which can now be placed upside down. You can also make corner stairs by placing them in between two other stairs at right angles. There's a new mob that was spawned in the jungles called ocelot. Uh, you can also spawn them in and create mode wherever you want and you can tame the ocelots to make them into your pet cats by using raw fish but make sure uh, you wait for the cat to come to you and this one isn't cooperating so you're gonna have to take my word for it. Uh, they can also scare away creepers so if creepers are blowing up your house uh, it's good to have a few cats around to go and scare them off. Uh, there's also another new friendly mob that they've added which is called the iron golem which can be spawned by arranging some iron blocks and a pumpkin or a jack-o-lantern just like this. They can also uh, spawn naturally inside of NPC villagers and you arrange them like this put the pumpkin on the top and you'll spawn in your very own iron golem which can be done on survival mode. Uh, also villagers can now have children if there's room in the village. Uh, there will also be zombie sieges which will occur occasionally at night. Uh, zombies can now break down doors on hard mode and uh, there's new AI for the mobs and uh, the googlies uh, will sometimes drop rare drops. Uh, there's a new block that they've added called Chisel Stone Bricks, uh, which is only available in Creative. Also only available in Creative are these different mob heads. But something that you can make in survival is the redstone stamp, uh, lamp, which looks like this. Uh, double doors now work better with redstone and open properly. Uh, they've also added 3D item drops. So when you drop an item, they look kind of better in 3D. And also lots of items of the same thing uh, will group together. There's a new texture for the leather armor. Uh, so it looks more similar to the one that you get in PC. And if you place a block down on top of grass, it will get rid of the grass. You can now dispense boats and minecarts which will actually spawn in and you can have 40 boats inside of a world. Uh, they've changed the crafting recipe for ladders uh, so you can now get three ladders rather than the previous two which is good if you're trying to get to the top of the world because it's been doubled to 256 blocks high. They've also added a bunch of new ambient sounds which you're going to hear when spelunking through caves including a new sound for lava. If you try and spawn a snow golem inside of the nether or a desert it will now melt and die. You will also very rarely come across wells that look like this inside of deserts and abandoned mine shafts can generate wooden bridges. There's a new tutorial world which talks about all of the new features as well as an added tab for your favourite Minecraft skins which is your most recently used skins. They've also added support for texture packs and mashup packs although none are currently in the game. There's also a whole load of bug fixes which include fixed local player shadows not being displayed, fixed local issues with privilege settings, fixed visible seams in clouds, fixed third person camera issues when underwater the filter would be removed, fixed for structures generating on the edge of world, fixed for when you put an item which is enchanted in a minecart with a chest and when you destroy it, it removes the enchantment. Fix for the breaking bow animation not doing the proper animation. Fix for making minecarts running at the correct speed. Fixed a few memory leaks. Fix issue with can open container options. Fixed issue with can build and mine option. Fix the issue when TNT blocks would explode when triggered by other explosions even when TNT explosion option is off. Fix wolves not tilting their head when the player has a bone in the hand. Fix the colour of potion particle status effects to match the potion colour. Fix for doors splitting in half. Fixed artifacts on edge of flames when in first person. Fix a lot of the game lighting issues and that is everything that they've added in title update 12 and so I need to go and very quickly jump down here. Woo! <laughs> okay, I need to get back. The villager is probably going to be in trouble right now. I don't know where the lava is. I need to get there as quickly as I can. I don't want to see him burn. I think I did that really quickly. Hopefully it was quick enough and that zombie is still on top of the well. I'm coming. I'm coming, NPC villager. It's okay. I'm going to save you. It's all right. You won't get burned by the lava. And wait a minute. Where is he? Where, where's the villager gone? 
He's, has he despawned? They don't despawn, do they? Like, there's nowhere for him to, like, escape anywhere around here. Hey, what was that? <gasps> he's there! Oh, he's trapped me! He's got a sword! He's managed to escape and he's now trapped me inside of the cage! And look, the lava's coming! The lava's getting really close! Oh no! He's trying to do to me what I was gonna do to him! I was gonna save you, villager! I wasn't gonna let you burn! I promise I was gonna get here really quickly! The idea I was gonna save you right at the end of the video! That's what the plan was! And wait a minute, the lava's stopped! The lava's not moving anymore. I think I'm safe. I'm safe. Well, I'm still here trapped inside of a cage. I need to get out. I've got an idea. I've got an idea how I can escape. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. There's someone at the door. Look, turn around. Look, knock, knock, knock. There's someone over there at the door. If I get up here and pull the lever. Haha, I've managed to escape. Right. You tried to trap me in the cage and burn me in lava. Okay, I did try and do it first, but I'm going to get you. No. Wait, Stampy. You can't kill me because I'm your father. Ah! <gasps>